In today's video, I explain why China and India dislike each other. The first one is rather obvious. History has shown that mankind fight over ideological differences. Recent examples include the Korean War and the Vietnam War. China-India relations are no different. The Republic of India is the world's most populous democracy. On the other hand, the People's Republic of China is a one-party socialism with Chinese characteristics. Although there are some differences between socialism and communism, these two terms are often used interchangeably. China and India has two main territorial disputes. The Aksai Chin, where India claims is part of Ladakh, and Arunachal Pradesh, where China claims is part of southern Tibet. In the 1914 Simla Convention, British ruled India and Tibet agreed on the McMahon Line, but China does not recognize this border. In 1951, India was enraged by China building a road in disputed Aksai Chin. Both countries have gone to war over territories in the 1962 Sino-Indian War. And another war in 1967. Both sides agreed to a truce along the line of actual control but never agreed to the border to this day. Since then, Chinese and Indian troops have engaged in occasional skirmishes, resulting in deaths and injuries on both sides. Another dispute is the Doklam Plateau. This region is disputed between China and Bhutan, who is India's ally. In 2017, China tried building a road, but were blocked by Indian troops, leading to a military standoff. Throughout history, natural resource is another source of conflict for many countries. For instance, Iraq's invasion of Kuwait for their oil reserves, or Egypt-Ethiopia having a dispute over Ethiopia's plan to build a dam that affects Egypt's water supply. China is planning to build 11 dams along the Yalu Zhang Bujiang or Brahmaputra for hydropower. These dams have raised concern in downstream countries like India and Bangladesh, who rely on this river for water resource. One of the largest dams will be built at the Great Bend, close to tectonic plates and prone to earthquakes. Any seismic activity could destabilize the dam and could have devastating consequences for the population living downstream. India is also worried that China could weaponize water resource, using it as a bargaining chip during negotiations. International relations also play a part and can influence India's geopolitical stance. For decades, India has remained neutral, but clashes with China has pushed India to join a strategic partnership known as Quad, along with Australia, Japan, and United States, with the primary purpose of countering China. As the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Unless China and India resolve their various disputes, it is unlikely that both countries will get along anytime soon.